Hi everyone, my name is Evelyn and I'm going to show you the basics of how to solder. Today we're soldering this cool Wadi gadget that has two blinking LEDs. But what is soldering? Soldering is a way of joining different kinds of metal together like iron, silver or copper. We can do this by melting what is called solder. Solder is the form of glue that we're going to use, but in our case, we need to melt the solder by using a hot soldering iron. Now I'll show you everything you need to start soldering. First up, you'll need your soldering iron and a holder. You'll also need pliers, soldering tin, and a sponge to clean your soldering iron. You can also use a regular sponge, but make it wet. Lastly, of course, we'll need our kit with all its components. Oh, and if you want to protect your table, you can also use an anti-static placemat. Now, if you're right-handed, place your soldering iron on the right side, and if you're a lefty, place it on the left side. Now, before we get started, let me explain some important safety rules. To heat up the solder, your soldering iron will need to heat up to about 300 degrees. So we need to be very careful. Always take your soldering iron like this and place it back in the solder holder. Never, ever, ever touch the iron part. All right, let's get to it. Start by plugging in your soldering iron so it can start heating up. Meanwhile, Open up your kit and sort all the components. This is a PCB, the manual. And then we have all our components. These are the resistors. Four of them, the LEDs, a clip-on pin, the battery holder, we've got our transistors and two capacitors. All right, let's start by opening the manual and placing it in front of us so we can follow each step. As the manual states, we'll first have to take a look at the PCB, which has a front side and a back side. On the front side, we will be placing the LEDs and on the back side, we'll place all the other components. And this is also the side where we will be soldering. Step one, look for the resistors with brown, black and red colored stripes. Resistors are used to regulate the electric current that flows through the circuit. Now, once you've found the right resistor, bend their leads like this. And then place them in the right designator. R1, push them all the way through. R2. There we go. And then bend their leads on the other side so they won't move. There we go. Now we're ready to start soldering. All right, place the PCB with the components facing you. Then take out the soldering tin in one hand and take the soldering iron in your other hand. Be sure to hold it like a pen and do not touch the iron part. Start by placing the tip of your soldering iron against the silver path. Then add some solder until you get a nice pyramid shaped blob. Remove the solder, then remove the tip of your soldering iron. All right, now do the same for the other resistors. Make sure that you use enough solder, but don't use too much either. 
Just make sure that the connection is good. Next up are the capacitors. The capacitors look like this and they are used to buffer the energy that flows from the battery to the LEDs. As you can see, the capacitor has a long leg and a short leg. The long leg is the positive side and the short leg is the negative side. Why? Because the energy will flow from the positive side to the negative side. When we put the capacitor into the PCB, we need to make sure that the long leg is positioned in the positive side and the short leg is positioned into the negative side, like this, in C1. Once it's positioned, you can bend the component like this and then bend the leads backward so we can start soldering. Make sure that the connections do not touch each other. Now do the same for the other one. Now cut off the leads on the other side. And there we go. The next components are the transistors. The transistors look like this and are a type of switch they will make sure that our LEDs will blink. The transistor looks like this, has three leads and a flat side and a round side. On the PCB, you will notice that Q1 and Q2 also have a flat side and a round side. So we will place the transistor accordingly. Bend the transistor and then we're ready to solder.
now trim the leads on the other side. There we go. The next component is our battery holder. As you can see, the battery holder has a top side and a bottom side. We're going to place the battery holder like this. And then we need to solder both sides. The last component is the LED. As you can see, the LED has a long lead, the positive side, and a short lead, the negative side. The LED goes in the front of the PCB. The square connection is the negative side and the circle connection is the positive side. So we'll need to mount the LED like this. Now we're going to solder the connection. We're going to start by soldering one of the two connections first and checking whether our LED is positioned straight. That looks good. On to the next connection. Make sure that the connections do not touch each other. That looks good. Our soldering work is done. Now all we need to do is add the battery. It's a coin cell battery. And we need to make sure that the negative side is positioned towards the PCB. There you go. Good job. Thanks for watching. Bye.